here on What Salt WMA. We have 761 acres we're looking at burning today. Um, should be a good productive day. Just looking at the weather. Prescribed burning can affect private landowners in a lot of different ways depending on their, their objectives for their land, whether it be timber management or wildlife management, uh, maybe to restore a site back to native vegetation. Uh, so really, um, what, they, what their goal is for their property, what they hope to get out of their property, prescribed fire can be used to achieve it in, in a lot of different ways. Prescribed fire is really the restoration of fire on the landscape. Um, you know, hundreds of years ago, prescribed fire burned freely across the landscape. Frequent, frequent prescribed fire it kept the fuel loads down and it kept natural ecosystems healthy and resilient in place. Over time, as fire has been suppressed, really when Smokey the Bear came on and the big push was made, uh, fire started disappearing off the landscape. And that's what prescribed fire is, it's that restoration. Uh, we're using fire to really put sunlight on the ground. If you think about the food chain, it starts at the bottom and works its way to the top. So if we can put sunlight on the ground through timber practices, thinning, um, chemical injection, mulching, um, cedar removal, we can do those things, put the, fire, uh, put the sunlight on the ground, put a fire through there. Uh, that seed bank is laying there. It's, it's been dormant. It's been suppressed. Uh, once we expose that soil, those plants respond. They produce seed. Uh, that seed's eaten by songbirds, by turkey, by quail. That really starts at the invertebrate level. If we can uh, do things with fire to increase the invertebrates, that, that stuff will start working its way to the top of the food chain. So when you start, when you start putting prescribed fire in a timber setting, you can certainly increase the resiliency of that ecosystem. We're burning a little over 700 acres a day. It's for wildlife habitat. We're on a, a wildlife management area. And so the goal is going to be to reduce the understory density and, and knock out some of those mid-story and understory uh, species so that we can get things like our native grasses and forbs back in the stand. What we're after today is uh, to, to put fire in a stand and promote uneven age management in the forest instead of all, all age management. The Natural Resource Conservation Agency and RCS they have uh, several programs that are funded uh, through federal resources, uh, cost share programs. So for example, um, fire line installation, um, actual burning, uh, chemical injection in your understory. Those are things that the government will actually cost share on. So the landowner isn't placed with that full burden. And when you go down the road of enrolling in those programs and working with the private lands biologist, they help you understand uh, what it is we need to do what before we burn, uh, writing a prescribed burn plan, setting goals and objectives and making sure we're meeting the weather conditions to do those so that we can control it in a safe manner and it can be a, be a prescribed fire.